A key part of any Alaskan experience is to get into one of the fjords where the Tidewater Glacier is calving right into the ocean. That happened for us today, and this is why people take ships to Alaska. We're only about 50 miles from Juneau here as the crow flies, but it feels like we're a million miles away from any form of civilization. We're still in the Tongass National Forest, and although we were assured a trip up a fjord, the captain and crew make a game day decision as to which one based on weather and other ship traffic. We've journeyed into the Endicott Arm that is about 30 miles long and nearly reaches the Canadian border. About 20% of the water surface here is covered with ice fragments. Some of these fragments you could drop into a cocktail, while others are as high as a three-story building. On either side of the fjord, the nearly vertical walls rise to a height of 1,200 feet above the water, and what's not sheer granite is covered in Sitka spruce and western hemlock, because we are still in a rainforest after all. So a key part of any Alaskan cruise is the uh, fact that you get to do a glacier sighting sometime along. And the big ships come and do these ones too, but the cool part about doing it on Seaborn is that uh, they've got the Ventures by Seaborn program where you can go out on a catamaran or perhaps a, a Zodiac boat or even in a kayak and get right down into these uh, bays where the glaciers are calving. But before you get to go out into nature, they outfit you with survival suits and launch the Zodiacs and kayaks. I should mention also that these venture trips are not just for the hardcore outdoor enthusiasts. There's lots of people that had never been in a kayak before that take part in these excursions. So this is the expedition team pulling the kayakers out of the water. 